DJ Rizek here, and what we are looking at here is my uh, Lubuntu 14.10 desktop setup, uh, as promised in my review. Doing a quick, short little video here, just showing you how I would set up Lubuntu to work for my needs. Obviously, everybody's different, um, but at least to give you some ideas of different ways to go. Um, I'll kind of start up at the top. I moved, you know, by default, panel is across the bottom. I moved the panel up to the top. Um, removed a few things. Basically, what I've kept, uh, I've got my start and stop button over here. Networks, uh, indicator uh, tray right here. Um, added a volume indicator right there. Um, put my date in the middle, or close to it at least. Uh, unfortunately there's not a way to get it exactly in the middle what I ended up doing is using some spacers and stretch the spacers um, and if you just click on your date you get a drop-down calendar now the thing I am missing um, that that I wish you know I, I had here was that I'm used to how in both Ubuntu and in uh, in the GNOME desktop, you get uh, the integrate the online integration with the calendar. So that if I click there, uh, it's integrated with my Google Calendar and all my appointments, and that'll show up. So what I did do uh, to kind of um, compensate for that is the uh, one I added Google Chrome because I'm a big time Chrome user, but then also the uh, uh, down here I added the Sunrise Calendar app which is a, a, um, a Google uh, a Google Chrome app uh, added that to my dock down here so that I can access the, the calendar that way not quite as quick as you know like I said in GNOME or U Unity where you can just click up at the top and, and see it right there but it, it'll serve its purpose anyway continuing acro across the bar uh, I've got my indicators of everything that's running right now, um, switchers for switching desktops, and uh, this right here, uh, I guess you can think of it just as a minimize button. It'll minimize all the open, um, all of your open windows, and then of course still got menu right over here. Uh, I added Docky for a dock down across the bottom and if you'll notice if you've used Docky before you know there's some real neat pop-up animations with Docky uh, that does not work in the uh, in in Lubuntu and and uh, it's because you don't have the the, the compositing effects with the LXDE uh, desktop environment um, it's one of the trade-offs of having such low memory use However, when you do hover over, you know, each of the individual icons, it tells you what that particular thing is. So, uh, you know, I, I got weather bug there. I've got the calendar, um, <clears throat> added my uh, file manager down there, both Google Chrome and Firefox. And then that's the uh, for setting up the settings on Docky. Uh, and then right over here, uh, you know, I'm running my screen, screen recorder and uh, the little webcam viewer right here. Um, I did also add LibreOffice. Uh, as I said in my review, um, not everybody needs a full office suite. Well, I typically do use, uh, you know, not everything in the office suite, but, but a big chunk of it. Uh, obviously there's other office suites you could add or you know if Abbey Word is enough for you you know and, and if you just write the occasional letter uh, paper for school or something like that Abbey Word is more than enough um, but if you do need more you know there's there's several office suites that you can go with and um, Oh, okay, stuff that I found that did not work. Um, I'm a big fan of the keyboard launchers, uh, but I could not get any of them to, uh, to work. I tried, um, I tried um, 
Synapse, which is my favorite, it, it crashed. Gnome Do crashed. Uh, Launchy crashed. Um, the uh, Synapse indicator that is used uh, as a uh, as an add-on in elementary, um, none of them would work. So, uh, kind of a big thumbs down on that one. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in that because. Uh, the uh, the the keyboard launchers that that's really how I like to how I like to work, um, you know you especially when you're typing away um, being able to keep your fingers on the uh, on the keyboard and just you know quickly launch that way without going back and forth to the mouse or to the menu and the menus and docs and all that kind of stuff but. You know, like I said before, the the trade-offs that you pay for having that very light desktop. Um, oh, and uh, let me talk a little theming here. Let me open something up just so you can take a look at the uh, at uh, our theming here. Uh, LibreOffice there. Let me open up the writer uh, just so you can see what we got. The uh, the theme that I went with, I went to uh, uh, Gnome Look. And I pulled up, uh, I found one that was called Elementary. It's basically a copy off of um, uh, the theming used in Elementary OS. It's a gray theme. Uh, I like it. You know, uh, you know, it's all going to come down to what your personal preferences are. I found, at least for me, uh, dark themes do not work well. Um, my eyes just aren't what they used to be, and I have trouble with visibility when uh, when we go with the dark themes um, I think they look great but when it comes down to time to actually getting to do some work done uh, it just doesn't work for me so anyway I switched to that uh, the uh, icon theme that you're seeing here is nitrix uh, and then actually and then my uh, my uh, wallpaper background that is actually a custom job that I did myself uh, using GIMP well before we say goodbye today I just want to give you a heads up what's coming down the pike uh, videos I'm working on we've got uh, Abby Word 3.0 uh, also have a video on open office 4.1.1 I know that uh, LibreOffice has kind of taken its spot as the go-to for um, you know, uh, open, so open source uh, office suites, but uh, uh, open office is still being developed. So you know, I'd like to you know do a little video on that, show you what's going on there, compare, contrast, contrast it with LibreOffice. You know, maybe it's a thing for you, or or you know, or maybe not. Um, what else we got coming down? Oh, Zubuntu 14.10. We'll have a review of that, as well as uh, Kubuntu 14.10. Uh, and while I'm talking about reviews and that, please uh, drop me a line or leave comments on the videos. However, you want to let me uh, get my attention uh, and let me know what you'd like to see. You know, is there a certain distro you'd like me to review or a tutorial on how to do something, something, something? Uh, or a specific piece of software, just you know, hey, let me know and uh, we'll get right to it. I uh, want to say uh, thank you to all of the subscribers, and uh, I'll throw a link up on here for anybody that would like to subscribe to the channel. Um, the more views, the better. Uh, it gets me up at the at the top of the uh, the search engine rankings, and that means I get more views, and which means higher in the search rankings, and even more views, and you know, you, you know how that cycle gets going. Anyway, uh, that is it for this video. Thanks a lot. Uh, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, thanks a lot. See you next time.